Hello there and welcome to Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Gerald Cabrera Matreni for our usual political conversations, conversations to build this country as we progress with President William Ruto's government. My name is Gerald here with Herman Manyora. How are you doing today? Very good. Tomorrow, Mandamano Desias Kithura Kindiki says, bring it on. Nitapatana na nyini asubui. We will not allow lawlessness says, we'll deal with you firmly, decisively and with finality. Raila Odinga says, no retreat no surrender this is the conversation we're having in the country mandaman i want us to talk about understanding protests today and how protests should be dealt with if they happen first of all when you hear cs saying that does this mean that tomorrow is going to be well for people that love protests a good day but for other people it's going to be bad for the country maybe there will be no protests maybe there could be protests but mm. if there are no protests it can be because of kidure kindik mm. raila can suspend them mm. can push them say another day but not because Kidiro Kindiki has said but he's saying we will deal with you to find dealing with you kid you know if you look at history there are always disappointments mm. the people you think would stand with what is right what is true what's correct can read the times can stand with the people can mm. stand with the truth are the most disappointing Mm. So you would expect semi literate people to be saying what Kindiki said. Kindiki is a law professor. Mm. He understands that he doesn't have the powers he's purporting to have. Mm. First of all, in giving instruction to the police, he's violating the constitution. Mm. The police are not supposed to be given orders or instructions in operational matters. Mm. Mm. And the, the statement from Kindiki violates the constitution mm. because he says he can command the police order them to deal with anybody he doesn't have those powers mm. what the government can pass over the police is through the national security council whatever they call it mm. where the ig sits the other big boys from the military seats i think the minister like indiki sits the defense secretary sits duale the thinking of the government Government policy, government wishes, government fears are expressed there. Mm. And a decision is reached there. So the, com the Inspector General of Police, leaving that meeting, understands the thinking of the government. Mm. And they operationalize that policy or thinking. Mm. That is not to say the police can work without caring what the government thinks mm. no what the government thinks and even wants in terms of policy or directive or whatever should be conversed within the national security committee mm. whatever it is called council committee mm. where the inspector general of police sits when he works when he stands up from his chair in that meeting he knows what government needs mm. it has been discussed and agreed upon he's part of it he will be part of the actualizing it at a national scale within the police service mm. but matters of command are his when you when you talk about so kindiki does not have the powers to command the police mm. and indeed he's violating the constitution when we talk about understanding these man the manners this when he says we will not allow when you look at protests can uh, lawlessness be be avoided when you look at these protests that are happening and even globally even from history can lawlessness be avoided the question you want to ask yourself are there peaceful demonstrations across the world? Mm. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Back home, have we not had peaceful demonstrations where the police have not even been? Mm. Again, the answer is. Even this. Raila's yesterday in. Raila was yesterday in the streets. Was there violence? No. The common denominator whenever there's violence is police action. That's the common denominator throughout. Mm. It is the police who fund violence. Actually, it is the police who kill. Whenever people have, have died in protests, it's not protesters who kill somebody. It is the police who have shot people. Mm. In the last demonstrations, I hear six mm. confirmed dead. I, I read on Citizen TV. I don't know that it's true or not. Mm. But yeah. at least people died. Even the CS said that as much. The six, CS. Six people, yes. Six people died. Mm. Did he add from police bullets? So the common denominator, whenever there's violence, 
in ma when there's mass action mm. is the police brutality common denominator so when you look at tomorrow if there are mandamanos yes. if there are these protests what's your advice for csk Kindiki? because he's coming out and saying look we'll meet you in the morning we'll who meet you he? in the morning who is he who is kidura Kindiki? Hmm. Hmm. it's simple can he stand in the way of the people you know to say you can stop people you say you can stop history from rolling hmm. People will move on. The country is moving on. The country is trying to find a bearing. Mm. And you cannot stop it. You don't have the capacity to stop it. And even the police have argued. Do they have the capacity to stop demonstrators? Mm. I was talking to some boys here. They say they, they, they are saying the, the, the tear gas now, now is not the tear gas that used to be there. Mm. You don't even feel it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the you see how the boys are returning it? Mm. Like football. Yeah. Like rugby. More like rugby. Mm. Have you seen it? Yes. With the precision, I don't even understand how. Crack! And it goes to the police. Mm. Have you seen it? Yes. So why can't Kindiki, Kidure, ki, Kidure, Kidure Kindiki? kindiki. Mm. Why can't he first, through the, that security council, to, through government policy, improve police uh, management of rivals, mm. short training, and equip them properly to manage their rivals. But the way they are managing, do they even have the capacity to stop people? Uh, let's talk about now these protests themselves, understanding mm. it. Can they work? Can they work in the foreseeable future? When you look at them wanting to change the country, Raila says, we will, we will, we will make this mandamanians until Raila, uh, until President William Bruto hears us. Can they really work? You know what? There are many, there are many factors to consider and variables, if you wish. One is that... Uh, uh, as a person, I, I am apprehensive. Mm. People think, people are calling me a coward. Let it be. I'm a little apprehensive about mass action because I know where they can lead the country to. Mm. You're always one step away from anarchy. Yeah. Uh, but whether they can work or not, again, the question to ask yourself, have demonstrations and mass action, has mass action removed people from power? kings and presidents mm. across the world? The answer is yes. Mm. Live alone until Luto listens, mm. until he leaves. Mm. It works across the world. Where is Bashir? Mm. Was he removed by the military? This is not far. Was yeah. he removed by the military? It's the people. So what are you talking about? Mm. Marcos in Philippines. You can go on and on and on. Mm. Argentina, where well, you know you can go on and on. Mm. People remove presidents. Mm. People demonstrate until presidents resign from office. So mm. what are you talking about? But when you look at the situation in the country, some would wonder why hasn't change happened yet, despite all the protests that we'd, we've had before. When you look at now post 2022 presidential elections, why hasn't things changed? Those like you, because you are you are asserting, mm. you are not wondering. You are asserting. You are asserting that. Uh, Despite the protests, nothing has happened in this country. Mm. People like you, uh, but for you, you can be forgiven because you are a kid. Yeah. But there are people who are my age who, who talk the same way you are talking. Mm. That is to miss the thing by a big, big margin. Mm. That's to fail to understand the history of this country. Mm. We are where we are basically because of the struggles of the people of Kenya. Mm. I'm asking since 2022 presidential elections, not before. We understand what You're happened about before. After 2022, we've had several protests. Mm. Nothing has happened yet. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this is... Uh, uh, we are barely eight, ten months into, into yes. Ruto's presidency. Yes. The, 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 sometimes things require some little time to mm. pick up. Could it be that... Trailer? But uh, I also want to ask you, mm. and people like you, don't you think these things have shaken the government a bit? How so? Have they? I thought so. Have I they? Think, I think, do you think yeah. the government is sleeping peacefully? Mm. I listened to Moy telling us at State House. Mm. He State House so lali kama wajaluo na piga kalele town. Mm. You think Ruto is sleeping peacefully? He can, he, he may think so. If he, you can't. I'm asking if... Even, the, even Raila's presence in town yesterday alone. Uh, and you are the president that you are normal human being. Mm. It will scare you. I'm asking because... Because yes. that means... Uh. You are not very far from losing your power. The, the, the people's power is like the River Nile going 
from from Uganda to Egypt, from Uganda to Egypt. Mm. That is what the people's power is. The people's power is like water. You can't stop water. Mm. You build a wall, it breaks. Mm. Nobody in history has ever stopped the people's people's power. If Ruto, Nobody, if Ruto was shaken, don't including you think? violent dictators who have used violence mm. against the people. You can never stop people's. You can play as politicians and finish each other, even kill each other, do what, scare each other, mm. defeat each other in election, etc., etc. But my friend, when the people express their will and their anger. Nobody has ever succeeded. Don't you think if history. Ruto was shaken, we would at least seen some changes in government, changes in policy, and he hasn't yet. Does this mean he's not hearing? Perhaps if people? Ruto was not shaken, there would have been worse happening in the country. You look at it also that way. Mm. Yeah? We don't have to look at what has happened. We look at what hasn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There could be more excesses, perhaps. Hmm. Don't see what people are saying and judge, judge, conclude that because they are dismissing these things, they are not trembling inside. Hmm. People shake, but they put, put up a brave face. That's why I'm saying these are not good things for any country. Hmm. The best thing is to avoid them. To avoid them, because they are not good things. They want this mass action. Hmm. Napoleon told us something. Just one step. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just one step. From the noble to sublime. Thank you. Until we do From talk sublime to, to the ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> from, from what is normal and okay. I thought you had ended. The, to anarchy. Okay. Yes. Just one step. One st people think it's a very big distance. Mm. No, it's just a step. One day you wake up and you don't have a country. I guess we'll have to see what will happen tomorrow. But until we do talk again, have yourself a lovely rest of your day.